the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always Namaste friends. <clears throat> so today in the entire chapter of Python is going to be lesson 110. We have actually come to 110 days. Can you believe it? And in the panda, this is like lesson nine. So in the panda, if you see like, no, it is not going to hurt to actually think about it again. We saw about the single dimensional, which is a series, the multi-dimensional, which is a data frame. Uh, we saw about <clears throat> the mean, median mode, how to actually fill in, how to take a particular call of fill in, the fill NA, drop NA. We saw how to analyze the data. We saw how to replace. We saw how to drop. So we have been seeing a bunch of things in Panda. And the good news is we also saw how to, needless to say, how to read a CSP or a JSON. So we actually saw that. Uh, so we have been progressing, you know, very fine. <clears throat> so in, in today, lesson nine, which will be a one part lecture, this is going to be correlation. And then tomorrow there'll be plotting. And then we'll be doing some serious deep dive uh, in Panda. So even if it's going to take like some 60 lectures or something, I don't know how much it is going to be. What my guarantee to you is you should be really, really, you know, definitely in the mid to, uh, you know, high level in Panda so that you can actually handle any kind of data analysis exercises. And the moment it is done, if I can actually do SQL for you, I think I'll be slightly happy that I know that I've done something to you and to yours. Okay, so my only request is contribute positively to every person. So correlation, if you actually talk of correlation, whenever we are actually growing, okay, so this is in India, I'm not sure about how moms are in a different part of the world, but my mom always used to see who my friends are. <clears throat> and then there was always a constant complaint. Why can't you actually go and be friends with that IIT guy, you know, who's like, who's really learning, who's a, who's a grade, who's a top, top notch scorer. <clears throat> so why are you getting friends who are actually matching only your wavelength? So mo my mom was, my next question was, they're not actually having me in the team because I don't match their capability. Whereas I thoroughly enjoyed with my folks and we were not bad necessarily. Okay, like we didn't, we were not IATNs or, you know, we, we were not that straight A's or straight hundreds, but we were good in our own area which my mom did not understand. So correlation, as I always say, there are three kinds of correlation. So in any relationship, be it your marriage, be it your friends, or be it any kind of relatives, when two persons join together, if you guys are actually moving positively in the forward direction, able to conquer, achieve, excellent, positive correlation. So even if you're not moving forward, if you guys are not progressing and there is some kind of a, this thing, but you're not progressing, but you're standing in the same area, that is called zero correlation. Okay, you're not progressing forward, not backward. There are some cases where they say like, oh my God, my son was a decent guy till he actually joined hands with them. And from bad, he became worse. So, my, my daughter's life was actually spoiled because of him and we have been hearing many cases. So just two persons just not getting well or like, you know, sometimes you're not getting well in the, in the project. It's not only what you do to the project, also what the project does to you. So as long as you contribute, otherwise, you know, I don't ask much. So that is negative correlation, which is not, Exp which is not, you know, we don't, it is not appreciated, but hey, we can't be without living that, okay? You know, it's something like we have to see. So these three kinds of correlations, needless to say in the Panda, which is import Panda PD, we can also, there's a thing called core command, C-O-R-R command, okay, open and close parenthesis. So we'll be seeing the data set and we'll be seeing this thing. So what I will be doing is, okay, I'm going to be having this. Okay, let me actually take this code. Let me paste this code and let me go here. And this is my correlation data. So this correlation data is quite a big data and I'm going to be taking everything. So I don't need that, but I'm going to be taking all these things. I have this, I paste this. So this is my data and I say, Zbot English correlation dot CSV. I say OK and I say save. So this is a no brainer. Okay, this I think at this juncture you guys should be talking at the back of your mind. Keyword English co 
export re relation. So this is at the back of the mind, keyword, you know, this, and then import the df equals pd.3, you know, read CSV, and then print this df.cor, okay? So print the cor for the df is the entire thing because whatever this reading is has been encapsulated into this thing and then we print this and then when we run so now we have the data so this is the correlation so what it says is duration is positive the pulse is negative max pulse is this this thing is this so it actually gives me something like this very nice <clears throat> the correlation method does not in, you know ignore numeric columns so the results of correlation method is, you know, the number varies from minus one to one, which I actually talked of the negative correlation, positive correlation. So one means positive means perfect. Okay. 0.9 is also a good relationship. Okay. Minus 0.9 would just be as good relationship as 0.9. But if we increase one value, the other will probably go down. So this is a negative correlation. 0.2 is not a good relationship, meaning that if one value goes up, um, does not mean the other will okay so basically like you know point two is just like okay we just increased marginally not big so this is what it is so in order to say what a good correlation is so it depends upon the use but i think it is safe to say when you have 0.6 so one is there right anything above 0 0.5 which is more than above average which is 0.6 is called a good correlation okay 0 0.1 0 0.2 is yeah they are progressing but you know it's not much it's like negligible it's not it's not worth the time and effort anything anything about 0 0.5 is you know pretty good okay so a perfect correlation is one so two pairs actually come together hitting the bullseye boom 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 everything going great it's like oh my god outstanding this is this is like can be two you know football players soccer players or two batsmen or two bowlers in tandem anything okay so the good correlation is duration calories you know got a 0 0.92 correlation which is a very good correlation and we can actually you know which is a very good correlation which is 0 0.92 the duration calories if you see duration duration this is perfect duration pulse no duration max pulse no duration calories uh this is 0 0.92 which is which is which is pretty good which is pretty good but not perfect okay so that is the way we actually read it all right so bad correlation is so here we got a 0 0.00 you know which is a very bad so with the duration max pulse so this is what i was saying a duration max pulse this is not a good correlation okay definitely this is also this is a negative correlation but this is surely not a good correlation okay even though it sounds positive so you know um because we cannot predict the max pulse bulge by just looking at the workout and vice versa. So it is not a good thing. Okay. So this is what the correlation is. I trust you have actually seen it. Okay. The command is CORR and then we actually interpret perfect, positive, negative and zero. Now coming back to the refresher. So let's actually take the refresher. So okay, the refresher data. So what we're going to be seeing is very simple command. So this is the refresher data. So what I will do is... I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be saving this as my text file. So I'm going to be taking, copying, copy pasting this. So what I will actually say is, I will go here. Um, I'll say keyword English refresher data. I can even give the timestamp. So today is August 20th. So 23 and I can say dot CSV. I can save this and I can save this and so my data is saved. So now if I actually take this and uh, if I actually do this, it's going to give me import this thing or wait. Okay, print. Okay, this is okay. Let, let me also try. What is there? Okay, let me actually try this. So it says display my maximum rows. It's going to show me how much my maximum rows is and it says it's 60. So in my options, PD dot options, if I say display max row, okay, display my maximum row at this juncture is 60, but I can actually say give me 90. Okay, I can I can actually increase this. So I can actually go here. I can actually increase this. I can say the PD dot options dot display max equals 9999. And then I could say this keyword English refresher data. 08 underscore 20 underscore 23. I think it's 23 only, right? 
Yeah, 23.csv. And then if I actually say, it's going to give me everything, which is definitely more than 60. So now I've actually set up to 9999. So this is exactly what I was actually doing. So the PD dot options dot display max row gives you the maximum row that you can have. And then you can actually increase it. You can actually set it to the max row equals this thing. So you can actually set it to. Okay, so this is what it is. I think today it is good. Um, and then we'll continue more tomorrow. And like always, we'll be doing more and more of refresher data as in order to keep our hands dirty and really, really be thorough and panned up. All right. So that's it, guys, uh, friends. Uh, I trust you have actually watched my lecture, probably enjoyed it and definitely you know, probably understood it. If you have any questions, kindly contact me. I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. The other is my wife, Jayashi, following me to follow my passion. Till we see next time. Thank you. Take care and cheers.